Zeppo, who's a new young speedy guy out of Auckland, New Zealand, playing for Samoa here. Uali Mai, the great general of all those seasons, is also coming off the bench. Uali Mai, number six. And the Tongan team, well, it's a young team. They have trained a lot together. They're all home players from Nukulo for Answer Rounds. And uh, they've got some good players. Number six, Etuan Isio, was one who impressed yesterday, as was the big forward, number two, Jack Ram. It's hardly the kind of weather for polar bears. It has been noticeably cooler in Hong Kong this tournament. So out come the two Pacific teams, neighbours in the big Pacific Ocean, Samoa and Tonga. And the referee is David Schmorczewski from Canada, who's been a regular on the tour the last couple of seasons. And I guess uh, there won't be many chances that uh, Dave Smorczewski's had to referee a game of this, uh, let's say, power and velocity from these two teams. Yeah, that's true, and uh, how he polices it is going to be intriguing because uh, there's been nothing given. As expected, every time these two nations play against each other, we'll be at 7s, 15s. And something tells me, Keith, I had a little word to the, uh, the, the Tongan coach. He was disappointed that they uh, lost that opener against Scotland last night. Uh, certainly not fair in Samoa. There he is, Sior Taumalolo. Referee Smorczewski of Canada begins this one with the Tonga in the red. And the man who got the ball is Sosai Palais. And he's away. And this is here's a record. We had one earlier from Phil Mack of Canada who scored up to 17 seconds. And he has scored that one. What was it? Nine? It was a flat 10. No, I think you, you're absolutely right. There won't be anything in the in the replay that went by so quickly. Won't be anything even in the slow mo. Well, you watched the, the someone's complaining that it didn't go the 10 meters. They all stood still. It was like Jack's. Well, there you go. He just grabbed it, went. The Samoans are standing there complaining, suggesting that it hadn't gone the 10 meters. Perfect start for Tonga. Had to add the sewer. So let's go back now to the halfway line. And shall we begin again? Isn't that amazing? The kickoff was taken by Sosai Pele. And this time it has gone, so no doubting over this one. I think the Samoans might have had a wee bit of a case there, but uh, Smorczewski is right on the spot. Here they come again. This is uh, Val Maunga. And flying for the corner is Joseph Louis. Hold the phone. Two tries in 48 seconds. From, or just a little over, one minute from... Joseph Louis. The man on screen, 20-year-old, made his debut in Wellington this year. Sprinter at high school, and he showed that pace as well. The Tongans taking on the Samoans in the physical exchanges, getting the ball out. And look at this, inside, outside, power, pace, ball in the right hand. Good try. Conversion attempt has gone away to the side that... And there's uh, the great man, uh, Siwa Tomalolo. That's him on the right, the coach of Tonga. And uh, he was a very fine player in his day, too. A couple of uh, rugby World Cups. Was injured before one. But uh, look at this, all concentration. That gaze right out at his own boys. And what a beginning. Two tries from the two speedsters. Let's see what happens now as the game unfolds. So here's Samoa, who we know, they've got great... Uh, ability to produce points as well. They scored 10 tries yesterday against Mexico. And they've got some good guys. And they've got some talent. But there's a lost ball forward. The referee has seen it. He's got the hand out. So it's all going wrong for Samo. They're bustled off their game by Tom. Uh, there's Stephen Beatham. Concerned, no doubt. A totally different Samo on side this morning or this afternoon outside here. And they've been rattled. Lola Louis going into contact. Not as hard and as fast as he normally does and the Tongans are up for the challenge uh, but their biggest fear is going to be discipline can they maintain the discipline in the remaining 11 minutes and, and maybe excitement too they've done so brilliantly here at the start so Sire Palais they have possession here wrenched away by Louis 
and it's gone away to Yosefa, who's the gas man. This is the young man out of uh, Auckland who made such a big impression a few weeks ago in the New Zealand Sevens, and he's in the team. Well, they, he's in the team doing the Pesamino role, but Michele Pesamino not here. So doing the Pesamino role pretty well indeed. Very quick as well. Look at the way he just was able to get on the outside. The mistake by Tonga turning over possession, and once it got into the hands of the sprint, sprinter, the speedster, it's good night, nurse. Yes, I think that's one of the issues that will face the Tongan team now. They're still in the lead. It's uh, 12 to 7. Uh, they might. Uh, just to be a bit excited and not make all their connections, but here they go. They're, they're well coached, they're well trained, they're very committed. And there's, this could be another one. Tom Yosefo chasing very hard on Hapoka. And that run by Yosefo, well, that could have been, that could be a, a match saver. We don't know what's going to unfold, but that was a very brave chase. He committed himself, he had just scored a try running 70 metres. And half hooker, he had a supporting player on the inside, just went a little bit too far. And then trying to get the ball out to him, he lost it forward. So we still haven't seen uh, too much of the big guys. Alafoto Fowl Saliva there. And Samaika Makaeli, Alpha Ayano, big guys. Lola Louis, got took a lot of bandage on the leg to the man on the left. Maybe not quite the sharp player that he has been over the years. Now, he saw crafty stuff there by Pele. He uh, was grabbing onto his shirt, trying to disrupt him. Number eight for Tonga. Right goes to Louis. It's the young man who raced away to score a moment ago. Cleared away nicely by Louis. They've got a little bit of an overlap here. Where's the bounce going? Okay, away comes Fao Saliva. Been well marked at the moment, flung away by Alatasa Tupo. Midfield, Louis prepared to just move it on at the moment. Lupini Labasa. Nice work, Alpha Iono. With him is Rupina Labasa. 22 meters out. This is more like some other bustle off uh, by Tupo Apu. Good counter here coming, but what the tackle that was! That man is lying flat on his back. That one really sat him on his wallet. There'll be some co concern about him, actually. I think the referee should stop. There could be a man completely knocked out over there on the far side. Willie? Yep. Lolo Louie was the man that made the tackle. It was a haymaker. He didn't see it coming. He was blindsided, actually. I think that there would be concern as well as the medics now get to him. I think the referee should have it. There, there it goes there. That's the hit there. Well, he did use his shoulder and arms were connected. Yeah, that was a perfectly fair tackle. Uh, with the greatest respect to some people who watch the Samoans play, uh, they think the tackling that, that sh it should not be in the game, but it's legal. When they go in with the shoulders and the arms, that's a legal tackle. But my word, that one must have really hurt because he lay there on the ground. I'm not quite sure who this guy is at the moment. You see the, the doctor is there. And Kate Seaton there as well. Oh, he's up. That's a great sign. I think it's a parlay. Is he going to stay in the game? They're trying to maybe see if he'll come off. Yeah, he's coming off, and that's a. I uh, imagine that's just a precaution, but uh, common sense. So this battle resumes. Sosai Pele is off the field. Oh, sorry, Etuani Siwa. Well, that might have shaken the confidence of the Tongan team, but a good chase, a good vigorous chase coming up here. That was a nice run by Lavasa. 
outside the 22. Still 12 to 7 to the team in red. And they mean business here. Very good breakout here by Tukuapu. Quick throw and take it. Oh, this is going to be trouble. Perhaps it's gone to Hafoka. Now it's gone to Ram. And Ram has got it out wide to Joseph Louis. Brilliant tackle again by Yosefo. I tell you what, he's a big discoverer, this Thomas Yosefo out on the wing. I think he saved Samoa 14 definite points. He sure has. He made seven at the other end with a lovely run. And we're at half time now when the referee decides it's all over. Okay, big man for Osaliba at halfway. Collision with uh, Ma'apu, who's come off the bench, but he's broken away. And here goes Alapoti for Osaliba. Oh, he's made a big pass across field. That's always risky. And it's got to Yosefo under the post, so it will be a 14 pointer. They'll go to the half time break in the lead when the kick goes over. My word. These guys take risks when perhaps safer options might have prevailed. But that's a great work by Samo to have the lead. Yeah, Louis actually bringing in the defender. And then look at Fals Oliva. One-on-one, -on -one, big contact there with Marfu who came on. And then this is what Keith Quinn is talking about. Should have put the ball down here, but he's looking to try and improve the position more so for the conversion to make it easier. So that's half time that has been called here, 14 to 12. There is great concern now for another man who's down in this battle. And it is Lolo. <laughs> Tom and team are not very good on the tour. They're only playing Wellington and Hong Kong and Adelaide next week on the IRB circuit. That's three. They were invited to the, uh, the big international tournament, which was going to be held up in uh, Japan with uh, 12 teams in the tournament. And that was uh, going to be staged as a replica of what an Olympics sevens tournament will look like with 12 teams taking part. But that has been cancelled because of the earthquake and tsunami and loss of life in Japan. So I guess they'll come back for that at some future date. As the second half begins, a familiar figure comes into the game for Samoa, who are in the lead by 14 to 12 in this grim contest with uh, Tonga Tualimai, who kicks off. And uh, it's, uh, when I say grim, it's a great battle. Very physical. Two men down and out. One from each side. Two tries each. And here is Ayono. Louis, who was down, knocked out, or seemingly seriously injured, makes a nice pass. Yosefo, who's a sharp little runner. It's at the 22. Where is the man to make the pass? It's uh, Louis back between his legs. So here's a period where Samoa have the possession. Louis in the game again. Flicks it wide to Yosefo. He knows the way to the corner. His uh, rather light of frame, but that's a lovely run in for a hat trick for Thomas Yosefo. Well, in real time, he scored five tries because he scored three on the scoreboard, and he has been the difference of the two sides in his defensive work and getting back. He mean he saved two as well. Saved two, so he's basically <laughs> scored five. Yep, it was basketball and be two assists. What about the what about the two he scored yesterday? Well, he's, he's a class act, isn't he? He's just showing his pace. Now, will you remember those New Zealand uh, championships uh, where he was very good for Auckland, wasn't he? And on their way to winning. Yeah, it was so instrumental in the uh, the national championships in New Zealand, where he represented Auckland. One of the speeds, his great finisher. So as they resume. There is an injured player coming off the field, and it's none other than Lolo Louis. So three tries to Yosefa. The game resumed. Lolo Louis is off to the sideline. So now it's up to Tonga. Another big, huge tackle coming in there from 
Paul Saliba. But they're really giving it plenty of this Tongan team. They're not out of this. It's 19 to 12. A converted try would tie it all up. And this is a nicely rejuvenated Tongan team we're seeing here. A lot of young names, not many caps to their names. Led by Jack Ram, who's been around a wee bit at the, uh, in the forward. This is just his fourth tournament, and he's one of their kind of senior players. And they're very, very willing indeed. Here's a one plus two out wide to Pele. And this is good. Very nice indeed for Sosaya Pele. His fourth event, tenth try, plays at home in Tonga. Made his debut in Wellington in 09. And this was just good patience showing Marfu spinning it out, stepping on the inside, and then wrong footing Iono. And then it became a foot race to the corner. They managed to get their good third try for Tonga, closing the gap to two. Okay, this is interesting. It's 19 to 17. If this kick goes over from the man who scored the try, we're all tied up. But we see it sky away. So 19 plays. 17 here at the moment and not many people would have suggested Tonga would be close to Samoa if you look at the stats Keith 64 nil against Mexico Samoa last night and also the quality of players that they've got in particular a man like Lola Louie well, there's Lola Louie what a wonderful servant he's been for Samoa and rugby but he's on the bench he he limped away and then jogged to the sideline so that'll cheer up the Samoan supporters who might be worried about whether he'll take any further part in the game coming into the match now is Fonua Tonga so uh, sorry is Fato Otto for Samoa and there's big Fao Saliva trying to build something up here we've got uh, two minutes and 45 seconds to go so a nice space now for Labasa chased all the way by Tukuapu loose ball and field and gone for I'll tell you what Yosef, oh, he was after, look at him down there with the ball. <laughs> he thinks that could have been his number four. Well, he's deserved it. And uh, normally, Samoa, those passes and tackles have stuck. One of the players down for Tonga now. <laughs> so who's surprised? Somebody else is down with uh, what looks like a serious uh, injury. There's uh, Gabby Lee, the touch judge there. Uh, we see just wanting a big announcement for women's refereeing today with uh, Gabrielle Lee put into the first women's uh, test refereeing group. That's her right down the bottom left corner. And she's Hong Kong's Gabrielle Lee. She's uh, been officiating here in the men's tournaments for some time. And so this is a further step forward for women's refereeing. The IRB approving of the formation of the first women's international refereeing schedule and the long-term goal of that group is that they will be eligible to control men's internationals dana teagarten of usa was scheduled to do a test match between netherlands and hong kong in holland but the match was cancelled bad luck for her because of snow so that still hasn't happened for uh, a female referee to control a full male test international. But Gabriel Lee is on the panel that's just been announced today to move towards more regular female referees of not only female test matches, but of male test matches as well. So discuss that issue, all you redneck men around the world. just well plenty of time here two minutes to go he's had a good game hasn't he this young man that's the Tonga are still well and truly in this they've got to get it up bash it up kick it up pass it up move it up whichever way you like to use they've got to get it forward and the big tackles are coming in from Samo there's Trevor Ennis and there's an experience from Marfu as well coming back against the gray and there's the coach to Tomololo and as I say, he'd be delighted with the spirit they've shown. And the discipline is the big thing for me because last night against Scotland, two players got to sit in the naughty boys' chair, and that was the difference. So there's Gabby Lee. She's doing touch judge work here under the eyes of the big local crowd for her. Okay, it's Samo in possession. 
Otto is number 12 and number 9 is Rupina Lavasa. He's a fine player too. We've got some good ones here. Yosefo is trying to get to his try number 4. Makes a good uh, offload. But somehow still in position as the clock ticks down. No, they're not. Here's the chance for Tonga. Number 9 is Vaumonga. Halfway line. Long way to go. Especially with all the defence pretty close to the ball. Now they fan out wide. Moving it forward. It's Kata. And now Jack Ram. Look at this. Two. The Tongans are very determined. But the Samoan defence. One upstairs and one downstairs. There's a good line up here. Two out to his left. And taken by Samoa. That's a critical turnover there. Luali Mai guiding it up the centre of the field. Away it goes now to Fato Otto. And this is the one that will confirm the victory. For Samoa. Fatua Otto scores it with just seconds to play. But we've seen a brave effort by Tonga. Good, but not good enough. Not good enough. Exactly, yes. It was the turnover again by Hafuka. And you don't, and Samoa don't need a second invitation. The man that played a season in Petoni Club Rugby in New Zealand. And what a great finish. The fourth try for Samoa. They progress the victors. Well, one of the most physical games we've seen at the tournament so far. There was beautiful try scored, a very quick try scored, two inside the, the first minute or so. But in traditions of...